Hey guys, I'm Paul the Motor Guy. Now I had one of my subscribers ask me if I would do a video on the straight line cone weave with the cones nine feet apart. Now I thought there's probably some of you that also want to challenge yourself. So in this video, I'm going to give you four tips that'll help you. So hang tight. Now the first tip is you want to use all your space. So when you enter in at this first cone, you want to be as close as you can to this first cone without knocking it over. Because remember, whatever space you give up here transfers on down the line. And now remember, it's only nine feet, so you don't have a lot of space to make up for any mistakes down the road. Now the second thing is you have to control your speed. So when I'm doing this exercise here, my speed is around four to five miles per hour. Now remember, whenever you're doing tight stuff like this, speed is your enemy. Because as you're taking time turning your handlebars and all that, your bike is taking up space. So you really have to control your speed. Again, on here, I'll be about four or five miles per hour. Normally when I'm doing the, uh, normally when I'm doing the 12 foot straight line cone weave, my speed is around eight to 10 miles an hour. So you can either control your speed with your clutch and or the rear brake. Now we have a video that's gonna show my speedometer so you kind of see where my speed is as I'm going through this exercise. Now the third thing is you wanna have smooth handlebar turns. Now what I normally see is riders will start their turn, hesitate, and then turn. Start the turn, hesitate, and then turn. Now when you're doing this, remember, you're taking up space. So every time you put up, up, up the handlebars, it's getting you closer to the next cone. And you only have nine feet, so you don't have a lot of time to be doing that. So your handlebars turn to be smooth with one turn. It's like this. Okay, now the fourth thing is lean. You really have to control your lean when these cones are only nine foot apart. Now again, the reason why is if you have too much lean, the time it takes you to get out of the lean and then turn the handlebars to transition to your next cone, you're probably gonna be out of space. So you really have to control your lean on this one and ride a little straighter up. Now depending on what bike you have, it could make it harder for you. So for instance, on my Kawasaki, the handlebar turn is only about this here before I get the full lock. So the only way to compensate that to get the same lean I'd get on the Road King is to have to lean the bike. Well again, the more I have to lean when it's nine foot apart, the harder it's gonna be for you. Now all the other principles to the straight line cone weave still apply. So you gotta keep your head and eyes up, looking down range, not looking down at the cones. And also remember, you have to get outside these cones, otherwise you're gonna clip it with your back tire. Cause as I mentioned before, your back tire always tracks inside your front tire. So if I'm turning the handlebars to the right, the back wheel tracks inside. The hand, if I turn the handlebars to the left, the back wheel tracks inside. So how you fix that is you gotta hold the handlebars a split second longer than you think, to get the motorcycle a little bit further outside before you start your turn back. And that way you won't start clipping these cones here with your saddlebags. All right, so now I'm gonna get on the bike. I'm gonna do a couple of passes for you so you can see exactly how this should look. So here we go. I'm gonna enter as close as I can this first cone here. Control my speed. And eyes are up. Smooth handlebar turns. I'm gonna go from the other way here so you can see if the back view. I'm gonna show you one more view from the side so maybe you can see how my bike is set up going through the cones. I was off a little bit there, but I corrected by using a little more rear brake. That's how you fix it. If you're off, just use a little more rear brake, control your speed, and get your time to make your correction. All right, so there you go. I hope those four tips helped you. Let me know in the description below if it helped or not. Now, I recommend you watching this video here where I went a little more in depth on the straight line cone weave. Now, until next time, practice, 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 and ride safe.